Hey everyone, Dr. Ben here. Um, I was just watching the news the other day and I saw a segment that they were doing that I think is really interesting and pertinent to you, especially if you're a young athlete or if you're the parent of a young athlete. So the segment that they were doing, they were talking about just the prevalence of knee injuries and overuse injuries in youth athletes. And one of the conditions they were talking about specifically is called um, Osvich Lung. Now, some of you may have it or know someone that has it or is developing it, some of you may not. Um, if you're not sure what that is, keep listening because I'm gonna dive into that a little bit more. And if you're not sure what that looks like, look no further than right here. So, oh, angle's a little tough, but if you can see right here, this little bump, that's Osgood Schlatter's. So yes, I had that uh, growing up, going through my teen years, playing sports and things like that. So, what is Osgood Schlatter's? Now, based on the segment, it's an overuse injury that happens to the knee. And what it is, is it's inflammation of the patella tendon and where it attaches right on the tibia or the shin bone. So right here, the tendon comes down, attaches to the bottom of the kneecap, and attaches to the right to the, uh, the tibia or the shin bone. So two things with it, it's really common in young athletes and those going through puberty, and it's a result of overuse. So first thing, kids going through puberty. You know, obviously during that time, they're growing really quickly, and they're growing a lot. So what happens is, you know, their bones are getting you can picture it, their bones are getting longer and longer, and the muscles and tendons that attach to the bone, as the bone gets longer, they get put on more and more stretch. So right there, already you have a little bit more pull on that tendon, specifically for Osgood Schlatter's, again, it's that patella tendon pulling on that um, tibia or that shin bone. So puberty, that's the first factor. And the second, it's an overuse injury. So you got kids that are playing a lot of different sports or they're playing the same sport all year round. For me, it was, I played a lot of sports, but it was mainly basketball and volleyball and specifically a lot of jumping. So that constant, constant pull and activation of that muscle, which pulls on the tendon, which is pulling on the spot where it attaches, can cause a lot of inflammation. On top of that, again, that tendon is already on a little more tension because the bones are getting longer and longer. So those are two factors that, that um, cause it. So the next question to ask is, what can we do for it and what's the prognosis? So if you went to another doctor or an orthopedist, they probably told you, um, you, know, you can take anti-inflammatories, you can ice it, rest, and gentle stretching. And then once the child's done growing or going through their growth spurt, the pain kind of subsides and alleviates itself. In my case, that was the case. Once I stopped growing, the knee didn't really bother me too much and it doesn't really bother me too much anymore. But definitely as I was still growing and playing sports, it was, it was painful and definitely uncomfortable. In some extreme cases, they might tell you to go for surgery where they shave the bone down a little bit. Um, if that was presented to you, please feel free to reach out. We'd love to talk to you and see if we can you know, do something else to avoid that or having to go down that route. So there's definitely a lot of things we can do for the pain. And something else that I think it's really important to look at is movement and mechanics. So again, for me, basketball and volleyball, a lot of jumping. Um, and what we see in a lot of athletes is that, for example, with jumping, they're very quad dominant. They don't really know how to hinge and use their posterior chain or use other muscles besides their quads. And again, that quad specifically for Osgood Schlatter's that quad pulls on the quad tendon, which also pulls on the patella tendon. So all those times they're jumping and just overusing their quad, they're just kind of adding to the issue. So if we can correct a lot of those movement patterns and those mechanics, that can help to alleviate some of that pressure too. And then one, it also helps with their performance and hopefully down the road will help um, prevent other injuries and things like that. So that's just one example. Um, and just Wanted to share that because I saw it on the news and thought it was pertinent to you guys. If you have any questions, um, if you have an athlete, you know an athlete, your child, son or daughter that has Osgood Schlatter's, is developing it, or has any other issues, please feel free to reach out. Next level physical therapy.